Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing Lord of the Rings Sauron Plus 2007. Bionicle Paraki Creeps. And to give you a bio about the Paraki Creeps, they were originally rulers of Montanui on the surface, and their crimes were so unspeakable, Montanui imprisoned them in the depths and cursed them into monstrous forms, so they are definitely the creepiest Bionicle villains that ever existed. I'll have to say about that. They're creepy and disturbing, and you wouldn't want to run into them underwater. We got Prydak. We got most of the bad guys here. I can't name all of them because I'm bad with their names. But they are some of the most scariest guys. This guy's got claws for hands. Why not? This one's got blades. And he's like, Silence, Toa. You cannot beat the Paraki creeps. We are some of the most terrifying beasts in the deep. And this guy is also terrifying. Hello, and, and pleasure to meet you, and you will not survive our feeding frenzy. <laughs> this guy is supposed to have three eyes, but I kind of lost a piece to that in some of his armor. Sorry about some of them missing their armor pieces, but they are still terrifying. This guy was supposed to have three claws, like Wolverine, but I lost one. But he's still pretty creepy with his face. Look at that. That is gruesome. Articulation. They got bends at the knee, ankle tilt, which is really nice for these old school figures, for sure. And why I love having them in my collection. They are creepy and disturbing. And these were figures you put together and you built them. Why not? They all have the same articulation as one another. Except for this guy. He's limited. Unless you really move his arms different ways. But bend at the knees. Why not? These Baraki are monstrous and scary. This guy is probably the most scariest because look. He's got some claws. And you can be like, I'll get you in your in my claws and eat you. Love that voice I do with that guy. Number one, hands down. Next is this guy. Lost his feet and his main weapon, but he's still pretty creepy. And I had to piece them back together because sometimes I will lose parts to things. And I have to go piece them back together, but still... Nightmarish creatures from the deep, the Paraki creeps were. And next, we got our brand new figure from BSTAXN Toys. Lord Sauron from 2001 Fellowship of the Ring. And we are going to open our figure and take him out of the box if I can get him out of the box today. Let's see where I opened them from. Open them from the bottom and let them come out. And then we close up the box. And I have a little bio for Sauron too. The first time we saw Sauron in his armored form was when he was a fighting a seal door. It's air. And this is a best representation of that old school character. Look at that. The head is really well sculpted and really well painted. The armor is detailed pretty good. Arms have some good articulation. You could be like, eat my mace, Frodo. <laughs> because I, Sauron, have returned. And fear my power to dominate all life. 
And that is my Sauron voice, and it's pretty scary, huh? Ankle tilt, not bad. Bend at the knee, but the cape gets in the way. Otherwise, not a bad looking figure. He does come with some alternative hands, but they're really tight to switch out, so I'm not going to bother doing that. And if you look at his finger, you can see the one ring to rule them all on his hand. So nice that we finally got a figure of him. Since 2001, we never got a figure of him, and even if we did, it would probably be some exclusive that'd be worth a hundred bucks or a thousand bucks. I got this for only 11 bucks and it's a good looking figure. Sure, the head doesn't move, body moves slightly, but otherwise a good looking figure. But now we're gonna get down to comparisons. We're gonna get out Frodo and here is my Frodo Baggins next to Sauron. And this is an original figure. It's pretty good for an original. I don't have his actual sword. Real shame. But otherwise, a good looking comparison. Frodo is really well sculpted and painted. Much as Sauron. But would I highly recommend this figure? If you love Lord of the Rings as much as I do, pick him up. He is worth 11 bucks on Amazon. And he's really well detailed, really well sculpted. And I'm so glad to add him to my ever-growing Lord of the Rings collection. This is my third figure. And just because we'll bring in the Infinity piece. Gandalf the Grey, the only other Lord of the Rings figure I actually own. But this is a great figure for what I paid for it. And I'm so glad to have it. And why am I doing a lot of scary figures? Yes, that is simple because Halloween is around the corner. Next month, October, will be Halloween. And we're going to keep on doing some scary figures all the way to Halloween and so forth. And you are going to enjoy what I come back with. Because I love scary figures. Definitely. And for next week, we are doing some Jurassic World slash Jurassic Park figures. And we got Dr. Grant, who will be shown off starting Tuesday... So this is Tuesday's review. I hope you enjoy them when I review next. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out. YouTube land.